ladies and gentlemen, gamers are worried once again. And this time, I understand why the gamers are worried. Guys, you're not ready for this one. We gotta talk about trailer number two. We gotta talk about trailer number five. 5,000. Where is trailer number two? We're gonna talk about it. The, 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 the new leaks, the new information. Because right now, a lot of publishers are really, really worried about GTA 6 releasing. And you wanna know what? Gamers are worried that they're gonna nerf the Lucia Burna. Because apparently, Call of Duty ended up releasing the firecracker skin the burna was there but then the wokies got mad and they asked for that sensor though yeah and guess what they did nerf the burna after that like the video if you don't want gta 6 being woke dislike the video if you want it being woke though all right let's get into this one grand theft auto 6 is getting closer and closer by the month and even though rockstar hasn't said a whole lot about the game since revealing it we actually learned a few yes. new things about uh, they, they said nothing bro they they did they pieced out and uh, this is how all of us are looking like right now where is trailer 2 bro we need trailer 2 right now through leaks and some other offhand statements made by gaming executives quite a few mm. very interesting things have okay. come out about grand theft auto 6 in recent weeks well, today, we're going to play a bit of catch-up. We're going to get everybody up to speed on what we know about whatever Rockstar's been cooking up with this game and some leaks that just came out. Welcome okay. to the channel, everybody. Chaos here. Drop a like if you're ready for trailer number two and it yes, can't sir. come soon yes, enough. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The main piece of GTA 6 news came out recently from Microsoft themselves, who not only teased oh. how they're going to be handling the launch of Rockstar's next game, but they also seem to speak for the rest of the industry, at least okay. when it comes to big publishers like Activision, Sony, EA, so on and so forth. According to recent company plans made public by Xbox's Matt Booty, Microsoft is mm -hmm. playing its 2025 first party. I, I really hope Mad Booty don't ask for the booty removal of Lucia in the game, man, because Call of Duty done did it. They done did it. And there was a lot of drama about this. I covered that. I know the news sounds hilarious that, you know what, like, and people are saying no ass, no cash, you know, that's something that is also going around. But it sounds insane, right? Like, first they release the character, the product, the assets, okay, let's just say, uh, no, no pun intended, and then later on they nerf it. Uh, uh, yeah, they did do that, right? And, and right now, a lot of publishers are really, really worried about GTA 6, right? And understandably, and that's a good thing, right? Because uh, they know GTA 6 is going to be a big game. Everybody knows it, gamers know it, you know it, I know it, they know it, everybody knows it, right? So therefore, they are worried uh, about, like, giving a release date to their product, their game. A and the only game that I'm truly worried about is gonna be Battlefield 6. Because the next Battlefield game is gonna be coming out by the end of next year. I was hoping it would come out early next year or a little bit after because... Or GTA 6 coming out early next year. So, you know what, uh, Battlefield 6, the next Call... I I'm not too worried about the next Call of Duty game. It's probably gonna come out around the same time as well, give or take like a month or two months here and there. That's not a big deal though, because Call of Duty is different, right? Battlefield, however... Bleh. Everybody on their ass right now because uh, they didn't do too well with Battlefield 2042 Understandably so if the next Battlefield game like we're hearing is gonna come out by the end of this year uh, Next year and if GTA 6 comes out by the end of next year like we're hearing it is Joe over for them Unless GTA 6 delays their game which we absolutely do not want uh, and uh, I, I kind of hope that it's uh, safe for them because uh, there would be a lot of games that would delay themselves. What if Battlefield actually delayed themselves? Party releases around the release of Grand Theft Auto 6, meaning they're not actually trying to compete with Rockstar in any way. In fact, that's apparently the reason why the Xbox showcase this summer didn't have a lot of solid release dates mm -hmm. on its games. Mm -hmm. Many of you probably watched that Xbox showcase, got all hyped for all the games just like the rest of us, but... Hardly any of the games actually had solid release dates or release windows on them, which kind of seems strange given the fact that Xbox has been trying to avoid that in recent years. Now we know the mm, reason. It's the GTA yeah. 6 effect. It affects yeah. everybody. According to oh, Matt, this game but I delay so many games. Matt Booty, Xbox's 2025 releases still don't have solid release dates on them because they're waiting for Rockstar to confirm yeah. the GTA 6 release date, at which point <laughs> Microsoft can decide if they want to release yeah. their games a few months before or a few months after because there's no way they're gonna go up against GTA 6's. Yeah, it's actually crazy. I went to Miami like uh, almost like two weeks ago at this point, right? And I've seen these buildings in real life. They look, I mean, this is absolutely insane. But I did not see that many people on the beach though. I did not see, I I'll, I'll keep it real. But maybe it was kind of like an off day or off season. That's probably why I'm, I'm certain like at one point or another, there would be that many people on the beach, right? But I did not see, but it was actually pretty, pretty chill. But the buildings, they got it like real good, right? Like, like, this game is gonna be insane. I just hope that it, 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 it comes out finished. 
it comes out finished and i hope that they do not go too crazy with the politics in it like the woke politics that uh, uh that every game is now embracing every movie is embracing and yeah people don't like it so i really hope that they don't go that hard i guess you guys know it everybody knows it they're gonna go somewhat okay yeah somewhat in terms of like because in real life you got that too so if they're parroting that yeah that's fine but people are worried that it's gonna be like the every other game right like oh my god right uh, but but of course with their trailer it feels like that it's not gonna be too woke though by looking at the trailer but but you, you never know right like we have seen call of duty <laughs> they, they actually nerfed the Buddha, bro, and everybody's like uh, uh, talking about that crap too, man. Release window because they know that they will get swallowed up. Everybody will. And that's not me throwing shade at Microsoft. That's literally what Matt Booty said. They don't want man, any of their first party hey. games to be overshadowed by what is surely going to be the biggest video game launch of all time. So. They're yeah. going to wait for GTA 6's release date to be confirmed. Wait for it. we got to talk about trailer 2 as well. At wait which point, it. they'll finalize the release dates for their upcoming first-party games. Doom, Dark Ages, Fable, Perfect Dark. Basically, all the other Microsoft games. Uh, all of them. Yeah, look at that jawline, Brad. She's going to beat up Brock Lesnar after that. They don't that. have release dates. Frankly, I think it's a solid idea. Now, this may result in a handful of Microsoft games getting pushed back. It also means that the launch won't be overshadowed. Before we move mm. on, guys, we're giving away a... <laughs> Companies like EA... Ubisoft get in the sales charts and have their launch hype totally eaten up by Rockstar. Companies like EA, Ubisoft, Sony, they're all holding on to their 2025 and 2026 release schedules yeah. until they have a chance. Uh, there was a recent leak, right, that, that came when uh, Insomnia Games leak, right? We heard about the next Spider-Man game, Wolverine as well. Wolverine apparently 2026, if I'm not mistaken. Next year, it's probably going to be a DLC for, uh, for what was this called? Venom, right? Venom, yeah, 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 yeah. So next year, it's going to be Venom DLC if uh, they go according to the plans and if the leaked information is real. You guys got to understand that it was not a uh, he said, she said situation. Oh, their, their company documents got leaked, okay? Like, uh, employees information got leaked out, their passport stuff. It was a wild leak. It was uh, bigger than that of gta 6 leak of course the gta 6 uh, gta 6 leak in terms of popularity is bigger because this was this is the most anticipated game and at the time when nobody knew what was going on yeah we had leaks left and right but i mean the gameplay leaking out 90 plus videos leaking out that was a big deal but after that we had the wolverine leak with the gameplay but more so than that the employees information as well which was insane right the their entire roadmap got leaked i'm not sure if they want to drop wolverine around uh wolverine or not wolverine I mean, uh, the Venom DLC around the same time as GTA 6. Yeah, so many g uh, game companies would delay their project. I think 2025 is going to be pretty big for the next Call of Duty game and GTA 6. And uh, 2026 is going to be packed because every game is going to be coming out like early 2026, mid-2026. So I, I think it's uh, going to be the next uh, the next two years probably going to be good if the, the games are good, though. It's to assess where GTA 6 will fit in. Let's be honest. It would be really awkward if the next Far Cry or the next big PlayStation exclusive game launched in the same window as GTA 6 because no matter how much hype these games have, how good their pre-order numbers are, the GTA 6 launch will eat them up. If people Absolutely. have to pick between GTA 6 and anything else, they're probably going to oh, pick yeah. GTA 6. And Facts. as for social media marketing, Facts. nobody is going to be paying attention to anything other than GTA 6 during the launch yeah. window. So I think it's a good idea for other publishers to plan around the window, which is what's happening, and it shows the power Rockstar has. It's kind of crazy. Is there any other company in gaming that can basically put the entire AAA industry on pause? because they don't want to go up against him. I don't think anyone other than Rockstar has that type of leverage. Now that I think forward, COD 2025 always, I mean, COD releases around uh, November, October-ish, and if yeah. that's when GTA comes out, what are they gonna mm. do now? Yeah, they're likely gonna drop it early. You remember when Red Dead Redemption was coming out, right? 2018, so Black Ops came out a couple of weeks early, I believe early October. Normally they would come out in November, but after that they try to, uh, and now they come out with their games late October ever since Black Ops 4, but before that, like, they would always come out, like, in the first or second week of November, and uh, because of Red Dead, they had to drop that game a month early, and we saw it was glitchy, it was buggy, people were getting blue screen of death uh, uh, while playing zombies, so that was a pretty uh, a pretty big deal, and they removed the campaign because they didn't have enough time. I mean, go figure, right? They were like, okay, we gotta drop the game a little bit early, ready or not, here I come. So they, they really, really did that, so maybe this time they're gonna do the same thing, a lot of people are also wondering, right, that if G uh, is GTA 6 going to come out September of 2025? Makes sense because GTA 5 also came out in September, October, November. It does fall under fall. So, yeah, totally, uh, totally makes sense. So they can come out in September and I hope they do, man. Because then, you know, 
we can have by the end of uh, October, November, we can have uh, Battlefield 6, the next Battlefield game, the next uh, uh, Call of Duty game, like uh, every single year, right? Uh, and I don't want to see like the next Battlefield game die out the way Battlefield 2042 did. Right now, people that play the game, they like it. Even I liked it. Even when the game first came out, I did enjoy its gunplay and all that. But I mean, listen, it was not Battlefield, right? It was. Uh, it felt like uh, like a skeleton of what the actual Battlefield franchise is. Uh, thank you for subscribing my brother thank you me uh the guys like and subscribe like and subscribe. let's move on to the game first. itself because there's been reports going around that social media is going to be playing a big part in gta 6 which makes sense yeah as i mean it's 2025 for the video game and it's meant to make fun of 2020's culture which social media is a huge part of but there's been some debate over whether or not this is actually going to be a good thing because as you probably know integrating social media into entertainment is a risky move because you run the risk of looking tacky if it's done wrong and then you also run the risk of overcomplicating things if you even yeah. if it's done right so Facts. according to the reports Facts. gta 6 will feature social media pretty heavily in its gameplay meaning there will be an in-game social media that you interact with throughout the experience. Now, it's unclear if this is... You know, imagine they actually did us put a real YouTube, and if you're playing online and you have a connection to the internet, right, you can actually watch a YouTube video in the game. Imagine. They're probably not gonna call it YouTube if they were to do it, but they're probably not gonna do it. This is kind of like... Uh, I guess this is something that's probably gonna happen in GTA 20 or something like that. And we're probably not gonna be around by that time, right? Like, uh, yeah, let's be real. We would probably need PlayStation 100 <laughs> for that, bro. We probably need PlayStation 100, man. That means that, that there's gonna be a full-on NPC social media app that you can interact with, or if this means there's gonna be some kind of social media-inspired leveling, maybe character progression systems put in. Maybe. But several reports from credible maybe. sources are claiming that social media will be prevalent. And if you watch the first trailer, you can see Rockstar has been teasing this. Many of the shots in the trailer are from fake versions of apps, Instagram, TikTok, all of those. And that, again, is going to be expected from the game. And it's meant to parody life in the 2020s. Now, I'm interested. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about in-game social media for a single-player game. Obviously, this isn't going to be a social media platform where players interact with each other. Yeah, but leaks, what if it's a full-fledged in-game social media network? Let's talk about the leaks, bro. Where all the people are NPCs. That's crazy. They had, if they actually built an entire social media brand. It would take an insane amount of dev time to pull off convincingly, but then again, this is Rockstar we're talking about. Mm. And this game has been in the works for- You guys think that, like, they're doing- they're shooting themselves on the foot with that, or- or nah? I mean, of course, the game is not out, so we cannot be definitive with it, but uh, uh, speculating-wise, right? Like, spe uh, because- in my mind, I'm thinking, like, if they were not doing the social media, they could perhaps do something completely different. Because this is going to take a lot of dev time, right? What if they didn't chose to go this route and they made the map bigger? Or, or having, like, longer gameplay story, maybe. Like, a little bit longer, right? M maybe more cars. I, 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 yeah, this game is going to get a lot of cars, uh, a lot of vehicles. That's for damn sure. But, but you know what I mean, right? Like, maybe what if. It's always going to be a what if situation but if the the social media turns out to be an actual good thing in the game then i guess nobody's gonna talk about it for over a decade you know i could absolutely believe that some of the gta 6's dev cycle has gone to developing an entire in-game social media app completely controlled by the various npcs you'll find around vice city in the areas i mean if rockstar wasn't planning on incorporating social media into the gameplay they wouldn't have put such an intense focus on using fake social media platforms in their trailer. Again, yeah, facts, I'm facts, interested to hear your guys' facts, take on this because it would be a facts. pretty hefty shakeup to the formula. If it's anything like cell phones in GTA 4 and 5, it's probably just a fancy way to give you missions and character details. But at the same time, I don't think Rockstar would put this much work into something that is basically just the same thing we've done before. I'm really mm. excited to see what they've cooked up. Now, mm. it wouldn't be a GTA 6 news video without some leaks. Something uh -oh. actually came out a while uh -oh. back that's been getting a bit more attention recently. If this leak ends up being true, it could be a game changer. I'm not entirely sure if I believe it. I want to believe it. I mean, I do. So according to the leaks, Rockstar has been putting a ton of work into the technical side of GTA 6, specifically the way the game is loaded. GTA is a franchise is known for having some ridiculous loading times, which is understandable since their games are massive. But apparently, the team is... Uh, what, 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 what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Loaded. What do you mean by that? Trying to make a change to that for GTA 6. And since there is apparently going to be a mechanic where you can switch between Lucia oh, and Jason loading, with the touch yeah. of a button... The load times certainly need to be quicker than they were. Uh, yeah, with that touch of a button, I love it, though. I like it, Kaji, but I also do not want them to nerf the Lucia Bunda with the touch of a button. <laughs> I, I hope they do not do that. I, I like the idea of, hey, turn, uh, changing characters between Lucia and Jason in the game with the touch of a button, but I do not want them nerfing the Lucia Bunda. But when is the trailer 2 going to happen, though? Where everybody's at, though, yeah, because, yeah, the rumor is that it's going to come out uh, in summertime. The rumor is that it's going to come out by the end of this year. The rumor has that it's going to come out when you pass away or Bruh. something. 
right? When is it coming out? Where is the trailer 2? When is the trailer 2 coming out? Because everybody's like looking like this right now. Because they pieced out. They dropped trailer 1. Everybody was like, yo, calmito, cal uh, calme, calmito. It's now you say, tranquilo, tranquilo, papi chulo, tranquilo, Bruh. right? Like, uh, we're gonna get trailer 2. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna get trailer 2. But where is trailer 2 right now? We demand trailer 2 right now, bruh. But I guess uh, realistically, by the end of this year, sadly. Or in GTA 5. According to leaks, the transition between characters will be almost instantaneous. Similar to the character switching in Spider-Man 2. Now it's safe to assume the initial loading time will be sped up as well. It is. It's also worth noting that both the Xbox Series and the PS5 are equipped with SSDs instead of traditional hard drives like previous consoles, meaning the game will just be faster across the board. So it's not out of the question for the PC version of the game to require an SSD as well. Similar to mm -hmm. the PC ports of games like mm -hmm. Starfield. Mm -hmm. This would make GTA 6 by far the fastest mm -hmm. loading GTA game of all time. Despite mm -hmm. all the, also being the largest and most technically advanced. If they can check both of those boxes, they're going to win. They're going to win Sheesh. anyway. Let's be real. Sheesh. They're going to dominate anyway, but that's a huge facts. win. Rockstar. Oh, facts, facts, facts. And this game is not coming out on PS4 and Xbox One. So that's, in a, in a way, that's good. Uh... And no shade to the PS4 homies or the Xbox One homies, uh, but, but like guys, like you, you, do you want like a broken ass game? Do you want like a 2 FPS game? <laughs> or do you want a good a good game? I mean, Sega's are even saying that this game, even on PS5 and Series X, is gonna be running at 60 FPS at launch. Like, could you imagine? Okay, so like think about it for a second. PS5 and Series X that did claim 8K graphics, right, on the box, right? It's written on the box, okay? It's written on the box. 8K gameplay, okay? A full ray twitching support, 60 FPS, 120 FPS as well. Like, it can frame rates can go up to 120 FPS Bruh. as well. It, it, yeah, they actually advertise the consoles like that. And now we're learning that GTA 6 uh, probably is running, is gonna run at 30 FPS. Like, think about it for a second. So that's that's crazy. I mean, if this game comes out on PS4, it's Joe or your PS4 will be sent to console heaven just like that. I, I don't think you would be able able to load that sucker up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're loading, you're loading, you're loading, and bam, and pow, son. You know, it goes to console heaven after that. You don't want that, right? Like, do not do that to your PS4 and Xbox One, guys. But you think that's a good thing? It's uh, next gen, or I should say current gen only. Uh, or a bad thing. Let me know and click on this video on the screen because recently we had a ton of leaks coming out uh, I'm not sure if you guys got to see this leak video or not. If you have not check it out If you have then check out the video on the left